In this video, we'll introduce you to the ArcGIS Velocity application and cover how the different capabilities in the app relate to each other. Velocity is a real-time and big data capability for ArcGIS. It allows you to create feeds and analytics to ingest, analyze, and take action based on observations from tracking devices and IoT sensors. Once Velocity has been enabled for your ArcGIS Online organization, it can be accessed from the app launcher. The homepage of ArcGIS Velocity provides shortcuts to recent tasks, as well as links to useful documentation and resources. The Feeds page shows a list and status of the configured feeds. A feed is a real-time stream of data coming into ArcGIS. Feeds typically connect to external sources of observational data, like Internet of Things platforms, message brokers, or third-party APIs. To create a feed, click the button at the top of the list. You can create a feed from content in ArcGIS, like a feature layer, from a cloud-based IoT solution like Azure or AWS IoT, or from a messaging system like Kafka or MQTT. From the feeds page, you can quickly edit feeds, start or stop them, or open them in the ArcGIS Online Map Viewer. The pop-up menu gives you some additional options, like cloning a feed or making a copy, deleting the feed, or jumping to the feed logs. Next, let's go over the analytic capabilities. The real-time analytics page shows the list and status of your real-time analytics. A real-time analytic performs processing on data being ingested from a feed, analyzing each message as it's received. Real-time analytics are typically used for transforming, geofencing, and incident detection. To create a real-time analytic, again, you can click the button at the top of the list page. Building a real-time analytic always starts with choosing a feed. You can browse to an existing feed or create a new one on the fly. When you're using an existing feed, it can be one of your feeds or one that someone has shared with you in your organization. From this editing experience, you can add analytic tools and outputs to configure a step-by-step -step process. Once you save an analytic, you can also toggle between this workflow view and a model view, which allows you to configure more than one processing pipeline. ArcGIS Velocity also allows you to create and run big data analytics. A big data analytic performs batch analysis on stored data, like data in a feature layer or in a cloud big data store like Amazon S3 or Azure Blob. Big data analytics are typically used for summarizing observations, performing pattern analysis, and assessing trends. When you create a big data analytic, you begin by defining an input source of stored data as opposed to real-time data, but the process follows the same basic approach as defining a feed. From the analytic list pages, you can start or stop any of your analytics. A real-time analytic, once started, continues running indefinitely until you stop it. A big data analytic fires up, runs the process on the designated data set, and outputs the results and stops. If the big data analytic is scheduled, it'll automatically start up again on the next designated runtime. Both analytic list pages also allow you to edit any of your analytics, clone them or make a copy, delete them, or jump to the analytic logs. Finally, let's explore the layers page, which lists the feature layer, map image layer, and stream layers that are hosted by ArcGIS Velocity. Layers are created by configuring outputs in real-time or big data analytics. When the analytic runs, the output layers are automatically created. They can be managed from here or added to a web map for visualization. Every feature layer created by ArcGIS Velocity has an associated map image layer, both of which are based on the same underlying data. Deleting a feature layer will delete the underlying data and the associated map image layer. Stream layers visualize real-time data, so there's no associated data set. Map image layers can be edited by clicking the pencil icon. This opens up the aggregation rendering editor. This experience allows you to adjust the default rendering of the dynamic aggregation. So for example, you can change the gradient colors for high and low values. You can adjust the feature threshold to show larger or smaller numbers of raw features. And you can also adjust the resolution of the aggregation or the size of the bins that are automatically displaying high and low values of either the counts or a chosen attribute in your data set. You can use the Save Layer button to save your rendering settings to the layer so that they're the default for anyone who uses that item. This concludes our tutorial on getting started with ArcGIS Velocity. From here, you can begin to create feeds to bring in real-time data, 
and then real-time analytics to process that data as it's received. Or you can build a big data analytic to analyze information that you've already collected. Thanks for watching. Thank you.